Hi everyone, it's Elizabeth from Kasiwa82. I thank you so much for stopping by. I wanted to share with you the journal that I'm using this summer. It's a fabric for Dory and what I wanted to do was just show you how easy it is to make one of your own. If you take a look at my channel, I'll put a link down below to how I make these fabric covers. They're actually from furniture sw uh, stores. They actually have these fabric swatches. In, you know, you can get your furniture upholstered in all different kinds of fabrics. And so they have these, and when they are discontinued, they have books of these that they just basically throw away. And I go ahead and make them into fabric journal covers. Now, normally how I use this is I make a signature, several signatures of paper, and then I bind them, I hard bind them into the spine. So when the book is full, then I put it away into my stash. What I wanted to do with this particular one this summer is actually have a traveler's notebook use that idea because then I can take the volumes in and out, the signatures in and out, and not have to carry a really thick book around with me all summer long, especially because I'm going back and forth quite a bit this summer. So this is basically what the journal looks like, the, the fabric journal. I use the classic binding model of having two holes. Uh, you can see the two punched here that I reinforced with grommets. And the other hole, you might be wondering where that is, it's the top and the bottom of the spine. If you take a look on YouTube, there are various channels that go into in-depth videos of how to go ahead and bind your own traveler's notebook. So I had a, went ahead and did something very similar. There's the elastic. And on the inside, this is what the inside front cover looks like. The back cover has got a pocket that I can store things in. And what I normally carry in this journal is I bind a signature so all of my signatures are bound at home and I can use a variety of paper so this particular volume which is the first volume for the summer is full and so stay tuned for a flip of that the other things I have in this journal that are with me all the time you know the old days when we used to actually print pictures out and put them into albums I have one of I have a stash of these that kind of go into three ring binders no they fit four by six photos these plastic sheets and they go into a three ring binder I just cut off the rings and then folded one in half which gives me basically you know there's four pockets in the front and four pockets in the back that I can keep things in before I go ahead and use them in my journal okay and then the other thing I have on this second string, because there's two strings, here's the one that has the, the volume itself, the signature that I fill in. And then the second string has got that piece I was just telling you about. And then I have a little DIY notebook with some graph paper that I keep in here in case I need paper for taking some notes or I just want to make some notes or sketches. Always times when you want a piece of paper handy and so I have one right there. So that's basically the journal that I'm using this summer. It's actually working out great. I love the fabric. I love the tactile feel of it. It's um, easy to use. It's easy to make. If you have any questions, please let me know down in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll talk to you soon.